Hey there, welcome to the 18th session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the introspection to obtain the schema and type detail. In this session, we will learn how validation will perform in the GraphQL. As we know, GraphQL is a type system and we have predefined our type in the schema and each schema has a predefined fields too. If you ever try to obtain the field that does not exist in the type, then you have seen the a syntax error. Here even we can come to know about this without runtime check. GraphQL will check the syntax as well as also ensure that it's unambiguous and mistake free as per the schema. Let's execute this query. Here we are still able to execute this invalid query. And it also produced the response. When any syntactic or validation error is encountered, then response will include the details within this error node. Let me collapse those nodes for the better visibility. Here, message field will describe what's wrong in the our query. Even it also shows the location in the query where error encountered. Validation will perform before the execution. So, if any error exists in the query, then it will just return the error details and not perform the any operation. So it does not execute the query having the validation error. Typically, this validation occurs immediately before the execution of the query. However, a GraphQL service may execute the request without the explicit validating it if the exit same request is known has been validated before. It's just like the catching functionality. Over a time, maybe new fields or type will be added in the schema or existing may be removed. Due to this, previously executed query may become the wrong. Even through here, we are still able to execute it because it provides a validation error. Let's try out the some common validation errors in the GraphQL. We have already seen the field does not exist on the type. Let me remove these braces and execute the query. Here we got the unexpected end of the document as it does not match the opening and closing braces. Now I am not going to specify the inner field for this viewer. Here GitHub API GraphQL automatically added the ID, but in the case of client, it will not add the ID. And it will give the error with the message that subfield for this section must require. Here we are obtaining the field for the viewer. Let me create the fragment. View a fragment on the user type. Here we can write the any field from the user type or any fragment based on the user type. Let me write the same fragment name here and obtain this fragment from the viewer field and use this fragment execute this field here we get the fragment contains the infinite loop let me update the fragment name to something else execute this now we got the error with the message fragment was used but not defined Now I am going to create the another fragment with the same name. Execute this. Here we got the fragment name must be unique error message. Now I am interested to obtain the details for the user. For this we need to use the user field. And we are not specifying the any argument. Execute this. Here we got an error for a missing require argument. Let add this argument, but not of type string. Execute this. This time we got the message that field have the invalid value. The expected type is a string. Now I am going to obtain this from the query variable. So add it as an argument for the query. Name, string of type non-nullable and pass it in the user field. Execute this query. 
Here we got error that variable name of type string was a provide invalid value. As we have not passed in the query variable, it takes the null value by default and which become the invalid for this non nullable field. Let's see what we have learned in this session. GraphQL validation will check the syntax as well as ensure the error free query. We can execute the query having the validation error, but it will give the error details in the error node of the response instead of the expected result. So, validation will perform before performing the original operations. Here is a list of errors that we have seen in this session. GraphQL has a wide range of validation errors. You can find more details about this in the GitHub repo. Link is available in the resources. Stay tuned for the next session.